Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama and welcome to this week's Pack With Me. Um, this week I'm moving out of the Sweet Scarlet Super Bee and I'm going to be moving into a mini bee this week with an accompanying fuel cell to go in the car. Last week I packed the Super B with some sugar snap files. I've had a lot of people ask me what I thought about it. And to be honest with you, I've, I've really enjoyed it. And they've really helped me um, organize this Super B. I don't tend to use the Super B because I just don't know how to pack it very well. But I do feel that those sugar snap files are going to make me much more likely to use my Super B as a diaper bag in the future because I have enjoyed the heck out of it this week. But you know guys, um, it has been two weeks now that I have been sick. <sighs> my upper back and like my ribs and my abs are all sore from all the coughing I have been doing and I just don't think I want to carry around any kind of big heavy bag this week. So I'm thinking the Mini B is going to do it for me. Um, it's just something I can toss over my back. It's nice and small and it has to be lightweight. I just can't pack it full of stuff like I can in the Super B or some of my other big bags. So I'm kind of glad that using this this week is going to force me to be a little bit um, more conservative in the things that I am packing in my diaper bag. Before I get started, I just want to remind everyone that I am still running my giveaway for the Super Toki B set that closes tomorrow, and I think I'll probably pick the winner um, sometime around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So click on this little card that's gonna pop right up here somewhere if you want to watch that video and find out how to enter. I have read every single comment from you guys, and I am just so, so grateful for everything that you have said. I I haven't replied to anybody even though I wanted to because I was afraid you'd get the notification that I commented and then you would think you had won and you would be disappointed but I have read every single comment and my heart is so full so thank you guys for all the kind things that you've had to say and when the contest is closed maybe I'll go back through and I'll comment to some of you guys just to let you know how much I loved what you had to say all right so we got the mushy gushies out of the way let's go ahead and pack up this lovely mini bee right here. All right, so I guess the first thing I'm going to pack is a diapering quick. You guys know I always want to pack this first because I don't want to run out of space and discover I don't have any room for a diaper. So uh, the first thing I'm going to toss in here is one of his diapers. I love this Toki Bambino print and in fact I've just placed a restocking order for these and the little learners and wet bags and change pads in this print because it is just so cute. Um, because the Mini B does not come with a change pad, I have packed one, well I've grabbed one that I'm going to pack. This is also in the Toki Bambino print, even though there's only going to be one day that my change pad matches my diaper, it does make me feel happy to put a matching change pad and diaper in the quick there together. So there's both the change pad and the diaper in the quick. The next thing I'm going to toss in is some butt paste. My son is still on antibiotics and so um, you may know that when a baby is on antibiotics it kind of messes with their number twos and sometimes diaper rash happens so we're making sure that we are being proactive about that. And the last thing of course is my Planet Wise wet bag for tossing in his dirty diapers. So here is that quick all packed up. I have one cloth diaper, a change pad, a wet bag, and powder, and um, butt paste all inside of this quick. Ordinarily, I would put two diapers in here, but like I said, since the Mini B um, does not have its own change pad, I like to make sure that I put one in there. So I think I'm gonna start having my quick laying down that way, but I might change my mind. Next, I'm gonna take my small set piece in the Kaiju City print and I'm going to put in there all of my son's medical needs. So I've got some Zarbi's cough syrup here. Um, I'm going to toss some ibuprofen. It's a fever reducer. He had a fever a few days ago so we're just monitoring that. And then of course the syringes that he needs. 
Um, I don't remember if I told you guys, but I found out that what's wrong with me is that I have strep throat. So that has been just fabulous news for me. Um, but by the grace of God, it's just so funny how these things happen. Um, my son, when he got sick, I got sick just a few days after that. And when we took my son to the doctor, um, we found out he had an ear infection. And at the time, I thought, oh my gosh, could things be any worse? But what happened is because of the ear infection, they put him on antibiotics. Well, it turns out now that it's most likely that he had strep too, and that's why I have strep now. And if he hadn't had that ear infection, they would not have probably put him on antibiotics. So my son very, very thankfully did not get strep um, it's just me that has it, and now I'm on antibiotics, so hopefully I will be getting well soon, because I am over it. So while I was talking, I put that small set piece um, in the zipper pocket here. There's still quite a bit of room in there, so maybe I'll toss something else in there if I run out of space in the Mini B, because it's already looking a little full. Next, I'm going to pack up a little change of clothes for my son. Um, he's finally reached the age where it is no longer appropriate to take him out in just a onesie. I get weird looks when my kid doesn't have pants on, so uh, he wears lots of overalls now, um, and I always make sure that I have spare pants because the pants seem to be the things that get dirty, and now I don't like the weird looks I get when I have to remove his pants and I don't have anything to put in their place. So I've put the change of clothes in a medium Kaiju City set piece and I'm gonna place it right there. I do believe. Next I'm going to use another medium set piece in the black diamond print for eating needs. So the first thing I'll toss in there is my little skid resistant placemat. I'm going to put his Kaiju City be neat in there, pack his little spoon, a formula dispenser in case we happen to be out and he needs a bottle, and then I'm going to pack this little snack bowl. I love this thing and so does Roman. For one thing, I can shake it and it makes him happy if he is needing to be distracted. And then I can just toss some little snacks in here. These are those kind of little dissolvable puffs and I don't think they have any nutritional value, but I like to call these my please don't make a scene snacks. Like when he's having a fit, I'm just like, here, 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 eat one of these. So I like to have this with me, um, like I said, just to kind of keep him from spiraling out of control. Um, he's 11 months old, it happens. Okay, I had to work a little bit off camera to get that um, in there in a right way. It was like playing Tetris for a minute. But as you can see, that little ball actually does fit in a medium set piece. You just have to make sure you have everything right. So I'm gonna place that. Um, on top there. So as you can see, I kind of have two medium set pieces sitting on top of my diapering quick. I mentioned that I had a little space still in this zipper pocket back here. So I think I'm going to use another small set piece in the black diamond print and I'm going to make it into a little wallet. So I'm going to toss my Duchess Be Charged in there. I'm going to put a tampon because you just never know. Um, some lipstick. And then um, a little hair tie with some bobby pins. Once again, you never know, better to be prepared. And I'm just gonna tuck that in this back zipper pocket along with the other small set piece that has my son's medical kit in it. So there you have it. You guys, did I put wipes in my, in my diaper in quick? I don't think I did. That would have been so bad. So bad. Let's talk about how bad that would have been. Okay, nope, no wipes in there, so let me grab some wipes and reorganize this situation here. I'm a little bit bummed out because that was a tight fit anyway, so hopefully it'll still work. I'm gonna add my wipes in there. Mm. Okay, time for Amber to get creative. Put the diaper in there. All right, change pad, think skinny thoughts. Okay, so I've got the diaper and the change pad in there. Now I gotta get this in there too. Maybe it'll go in this corner, let me try. All right, so I've got my diaper, my change pad, and my wet bag in there. Um, I'm definitely going to have to have baby powder, so perhaps I can, you know what, this is, this is not gonna work. 
So I have this fuel cell that I decided to pack with me and I think what I'm gonna need to do is put my wet bag inside the fuel cell. That way I can put my baby powder and my butt paste in there as well. So now I've got a diaper, um, a change pad, wipes, um, butt paste and powder. Let me zip it. All right, so there we go. No wet bag in there this time, but I do have wipes. I believe the wipes are gonna be substantially more important than the wet bag, so I'm happy with the way I did that. So let's pack this back up with my quick and my two medium set pieces. And I believe I am all done with the inside of the movie. All right, so I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I'm going to be packing a supplementary fuel cell as well. Um, someone mentioned this to me on one of my other videos the other day about carrying a hobo bee and then keeping a fuel cell in the car just for the extra things that don't really fit in the smaller bag. And I thought, what a great idea. I think I'm gonna try that with my mini bee. So let me move the camera a little bit so you can see down into this fuel cell while I pack it. All right, so here is the inside of the fuel cell. Um, the first thing I'm going to put in here is my skip hop snack container. I've already got this packed with some little hand snacks, um, some raspberries in the middle, and then in the bottom one I'm going to be putting um, his like food pouches if he ends up needing those. So I'm going to stick that right inside the fuel cell. It fits perfectly in there. The next thing I'm going to toss in is a spare cloth diaper. This way um, I'm not having to cram two diapers in my mini B, but if we do have a diaper change while we're out, then I will put the dirty diaper in his wet bag and then move this diaper into the mini B. I have my Planet Wise wet bag as well, which did not fit in my diaper in quick, so it's gonna go in my spare fuel cell. Next, I'm going to pack a couple of formula pouches. Um, we don't like eating these anymore, but it is good to have them, um, you know, in case we find ourselves kind of in a pickle and he needs something to eat and the little snacks I have are not cutting it. I'm going to slip this coin purse that I showed you last week. It has his little toothbrush and toothpaste in there. Um, I'm going to slip that in this little clear window in the top of the fuel cell. That's for in case we need to brush our teeth while we're out after we've had a meal. And I think the last thing I'm gonna toss in there is a small set piece in the Donatella Sweet Shop print um, with just a little pair of booties because sometimes my son's shoes fall off and we lose them and a spare pair of socks. Let's see if I can make both of these fit. And there's room for that right there. Okay, so this is my supplementary bag. I'm going to be putting this inside my car bag, which is a Sea Glass Superstar. And I don't know if you guys know this, but it's on sale on Amazon right now for like $35, I think. I got mine a long time ago, but I just saw it show up on Amazon as for sale. So I'm going to put the link down below if you want to check out that Sea Glass Superstar because I love using a Superstar as a car bag and that is a really great deal. The Superstar is usually around $85. All right, so these are all set. The last thing I need to do is just put my son's sippy cup here in the bottle pocket. I'm going to attach a passy pod. Um, my son is generally the kind of baby that just uses his passy at night and we leave the passy in the crib, but I just kind of like the safety net of having that passy pod um, in case you know, things turn ugly and I need something to soothe him with. It's been raining, so I think I'm just going to toss my collapsible umbrella down here in this bottle pocket so that I know I'm covered in case the rain comes. I'm going to clip my adorable Fobs by Andrea fob to the front of this. I actually got this character at Barnes and Noble and I messaged Andrea and I said, can you please turn this into a fob? And she said yes, she could do that. So I think that just looks adorable. Move that to the side a little. Yeah, there we go. And then of course, this um, front pocket is going to be where I put my phone, 
which is an iPhone 6 Plus, and it fits perfectly right down in there. Don't want to forget my pill case, which has all the pills in it, and of course my bag hook so that I can take this little hook here, hook it through the strap, and put this on a ledge or a table or anything like that and that way I can keep my bag off of the floor. Um, I'm gonna be putting a link down in the description box below for a lot of the stuff that I've shown in this video today, so if you wanna check those out, feel free to. They're down in the description box. All right, you guys, so I'm all packed for the week. I'm super excited about how this turned out. I think I'm going to enjoy having a chance to just relax, put this thing on my back and not worry about carrying a big heavy bag. I'm excited about tossing this in my car bag and being able to pull from it when I need it, but keeping all of this stuff off of my back so that I can recover a little bit this week. If you have some time, be sure to swing by thesensiblemama.com. We've got lots of awesome stuff in stock. We've even got lots of things on sale right now. We have that Toki Bambino print that I was showing. Um, just lots of great big things are happening in the store and I'm super excited about it. If you entered in the contest, good luck to you. I'm going to be announcing that tomorrow and I cannot wait. If you like this content and want to check out more, there's going to be four videos popping up in the four corners of this space here. And you can also click right here to subscribe. Thanks guys and I'll see you next week.